Hey there, database enthusiasts. Welcome back to our MySQL Mastery Series. In our last video, we introduced you to the world of MySQL database design. Today, we'll cover the process of creating MySQL tables, including data types, constraints, and indexes. So, if you're ready to amp up your table game, make sure to hit that like button and let's get started. Creating tables in MySQL is as simple as writing a create table statement. But first, let's dive into the structure of a table. Each table consists of columns, and each column has a name, data type, and optional constraints. Watch closely as we create a simple customer's table with columns like customer ID, first name, last name, and email. Data types are crucial for ensuring that our columns store the correct kind of data. MySQL offers a wide range of data types, such as integer, varchar, date, and float, to name a few. Let's see how to use these data types in our customer's table. Notice how we use integer for customer ID, varchar for names and email, and date for the birth date column. Constraints help us maintain data integrity by defining rules for our columns. Some common constraints include not null, unique, primary key, foreign key, and check. In our customer's table, we'll set customer ID as primary key and not null, ensuring that each customer has a unique and non-empty ID. Similarly, we'll enforce that the email column is unique and not null, guaranteeing that each customer has a distinct email address. Indexes are like a well-organized index in a book, helping us find data quickly and efficiently. In MySQL, we can create indexes on one or more columns using the index, unique index, or primary key constraints. For our customer's table, Let's create an index on the last name column to speed up searches based on the customer's last names. With this index in place, searching for customers by their last name will be much faster. And there you have it. Now you know how to create my SQL tables like a pro, complete with data types, constraints, and indexes. Keep practicing and experimenting with different table designs to master these concepts. In our next video, we'll explore how to insert, update, and delete data in my SQL tables, so be sure not to miss it. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video with your fellow database enthusiasts. Thanks for watching, and happy coding!